Dateline 2014, Structure Studios releases version 2.005. New features make folks go, golly gee, now that's an update. New features we've wrestled up include a new photo mode for taking them purdy pictures, multiple pool slopes, letting you folk type in measurements while drawing, and these fancy image effects like y'all are seeing right now, Pilgrim. New 3D image effects and adjustments offer a new way to present your projects. We'll review the different options available for Pool Studio, Vizterra, and the VIP Suite. Pool Studio and Vizterra members will see new image adjustment settings in the Create Presentation stage. We find options to adjust the brightness and contrast of the 3D view and colorize it as well. Exclusive for VIP Suite members is the new Image Effects tab. We can choose from effects such as paint, sketch, watercolor, oil, and sepia tone. With an image effect active, we can adjust the various settings such as brightness, contrast, texture, and border. Setting the effect back to realistic will load the standard 3D view. Please note these controls are only available in the VIP suite. In the library, we will find preset image effects to apply to the project. Pool Studio and Vizterra members will find three popular options. VIP Suite members will find 18 presets and can adjust the individual settings in the panel menu as well. All users can choose to save their adjustments as new presets in the library. Image effects will only appear in the Create Presentation stage and the Presentation mode. The standard 3D view will display in all other stages. Another new addition to the Create Presentation stage is the Photo mode where we can take screenshots at high resolution and save camera locations for the project. Clicking on the Photo Mode button will load a 3D view with a black border. Think of this as a simplified version of the Presentation Mode, where we can use the standard mouse controls to rotate, pan, and zoom, as well as use Walk and Fly Mode controls to move around in 3D. Clicking on the Camera icon in one of the location slots along the bottom bar will save the current view. Clicking on a location will move the 3D view to that location. We can save up to 10 locations per project. At any time, we can click on Take Photo to capture a screenshot of the current view. The picture will be taken at the photo resolution set in the photo mode bar. We can take pictures in standard definition, high definition, 4K, and even 8K resolutions. Pool Studio and VIP Suite members can now draw multiple pool slopes in the pool stage. With a pool selected, clicking the Multiple Pool Slopes button will allow you to draw pool slope lines, just like the updated terrain system. In this example, we've traced the edge of the pool with the Outline tool and set the depth of the line to zero. We've also drawn in a 1-foot depth line, a 5-foot depth line, and an 8-foot deep circle. In 3D, we can see the pool slope take shape, including the beach entry we've created with the zero and one foot lines. Please note that only one pool slope type can be active at a time, either single slope or multiple slopes. The new Type in Measurements feature offers a new way to accurately create your projects. You can now use your keyboard to type in measurements while drawing with the tools. We'll start by left clicking with the line tool to set our starting point. At any time, we can start typing to enter a distance. We can type in a whole value, enter a decimal value, or press the space bar to enter inches. As we move the mouse around, we can see the distance remains set and the angle of the line appears as well. We can set our own angle. Pressing the slash button on the number pad switches us over to the angle option. The angle setting is based on the angle of the grid itself, with zero being to the right, 90 degrees being up, 180 degrees to the left, and 270 or negative 90 going straight down. We can enter any value in between as well. Pressing enter will draw the line. We can use this feature with the line, arc, and outline tools when drawing, and the measure guide as well. It can also be used with scale, rotate, and smooth tools. For more information about this feature, please click on this link or visit the Advanced Video Tips section of the Videos page. 
several new features are now available when recording videos in the presentation mode. The first change is that videos now record with sound. When you play back your videos, you'll hear water features, fire, and environmental sounds too. Any sound played on your computer will be recorded, so you can play your favorite music track while in presentation mode to capture the music with your video clips. Videos are now compressed while they're being recorded. This means that you likely won't see the compression window when exiting the presentation mode. This also means you can record longer clips than ever before. Before you could record for about two minutes, and now you can easily record ten times longer as long as you have sufficient space on your hard drive. And finally, videos are now saved in the MP4 format. This means they can instantly be shared and played on most devices, including iPads and other mobile units as well. Another change in the presentation mode is the location of the auto tour. Before, the auto tour would focus on the center of the grid or on the pool. Now it will focus on the current camera location. Wherever you are in the presentation mode, the auto tour will focus on that specific point when started. For example, we'd move to the middle of the pool and start the tour there to match how it worked in previous versions. Rockwork will now automatically scale and rotate when inserted. When inserting multiple rocks, each one will scale and rotate differently when placed. This feature can be turned on or off in the interface tab of the configuration menu. Speaking of rock work, the stones and small rock categories have been updated with new variation and updated appearance. Another new feature is the ability to undock the menus along the top of the software. Clicking the button at the top of Snaps and Constraints, Hide and Hide, and Object Property windows will detach them from the program so that they can be moved. You can place them anywhere on the screen, or if using multiple monitors, bring them over to another screen. And while we're discussing object properties, when calculating shapes that have coping, we will now see area, coping area, and the total area listed. New vendor partner Arbors Direct adds six of their pergolas to the software in 12, 14, and 16 foot sizes. Another new addition to the library is the new Adirondack furniture set, found on the items tab in the furniture category. Thanks for watching. Please share any feedback you have on this and any other features by contacting us at 800-778-8996, emailing support at structurestudios.com, and visit us online at www.structurestudios.com.